you sit with your Lenormand cards and the Grand Tableau and have this conversation with someone who wants to know. But how exactly does he love me? Well, he loves you in such a way that no matter how privately or publicly you inhabit his thoughts, he ends up choosing you. Whether close or estranged, he chooses you. In his book, he chooses you. The bond of the ring and the heart is tough, but it's sealed in the book. So then, I'm cursed. You are not cursed, just bound. Can you unbind me? No. Why not? Because you don't really want to. Because you like being chosen again and again, over and above your physical presence in this man's house or life. So here is the deal. Tradition teaches you method. Intersect his line with yours and voila, you get your answer. The surrounding cards provide context. Without specificity, there is no divination. But what if there is no intersecting line? What are you going to do then? For an original take on what's on target, you need a sharp eye and an even sharper tongue because you're going to read the cards in line and maintain a sharp distinction between the narrative strands you come up with. Some are descriptive, some are reflective, others are speculative, and yet others are entertaining at the secret level. In all of this, there is the danger of assuming too much. In my book, it's always written, never assume. Just read the damn cards, which means that you depart entirely from the metaphysics of it and ride the physical manifestation of what you see is right under your nose. Context and image. You need to know how to nail it when tradition and the book of meanings don't sit with you at the divination table. My favorite question is, does he love me? As this one forms the basis for what to avoid when reading cards, pleasing the other or being afraid that you won't say something that the other can relate to, indulging the wish in the name of compassion or riding with a victim story in the name of sympathy. If you want nuance and elegance in your readings, you need to know how to swing your sword martial arts style. You need to think of your divination as a battlefield you want to win the war against ambiguity and problem. After description, his love is like a red, red rose, comes reflection. But why? Why is it like a red, red rose? Because he chooses you by the moon and the bear and the mountain erected on the book where the whole story is written in stone and the power of dream and reflection. Will you live with him? Not very likely. Because your story ends with you as the full stop. There is no duality here. Only the singularity of your presence in his mind, your mind.